Have the new GDP numbers are out. The first quarter GDP numbers are, are the highest in a year. My colleague Priyanshi joins us for the latest on this. Priyanshi, what are the numbers and what is the growth projection going forward? Well, Vishnu, it's, it is an impressive 13% growth number in quarter one. That is the April to June quarter of this year. And this rate is the highest that we've seen in a year. The quarter one GDP growth rate is 13.5%. But one important thing to note here is that it's not all good. These figures have actually missed estimates. If we compare it with the Reserve Bank's figure, the Reserve Bank estimated a 16% growth figure for quarter one financial year 2023. But compared to that, the figure... That that we're seeing right now is 13.5 percent so it is less than estimates but it is in double digits it is the highest rate that we have seen this year uh, remember the last uh, highest rate that we saw the highest that india has seen in a quarterly growth rate was in july last year and it was at a rate of 20 percent and this is the second highest rate second highest quarterly growth rate that india has seen at 13.5 percent but uh, a slight disclaimer here is that we're comparing uh, the gdp figures to pandemic years. Remember, last year, just around this time, uh, in the months of March to April, it was the second wave that hit India. And we're comparing the GDP compared to that figure and now. So that time, it was a really hard economic condition that was pre prevailing across the country. But now we're slightly and much better than that, uh, um, of course. So that is why we can see that there's a base effect at play, the 13.5% upgrade is from a low base that was hampered by the pandemic that hit the economy. Even last year when we saw the 20% growth rate, it was in comparison to the first wave that it hit in 2020. So we can see that if we compare ourselves to the pre-pandemic levels, we're still uh, slightly above that level. We're still slightly above the 2019 levels, but we're still, uh, we have recovered to pre-pandemic levels, but we've not grown at a rate that we would have if the pandemic, of course, didn't occur. So that is a disclaimer that we have to keep in mind. The other disclaimer is that uh, it has missed estimates. But other than that, it's a double-digit uh, GDP growth figure. It's the second highest that we've seen um, ever. And it's the highest that we've seen in the last, Last year, the, uh, if we talk about the figure, it's a uh, 36.8 lakh crore is the GDP figure for the first quarter of financial year 2023. And it's slightly above uh, the close to uh, 35, 36 lakh crore that we used to see even before the pandemic. So it's slightly above that, but not impressively enough, uh, the pre-pandemic level. So that's something to keep in mind. If we talk about the core sector growth, as I was saying that not everything is good in the economy as of yet. So if we talk about the core sector growth, that has actually slowed down from 9% to 4.5% compared to July last year to July this year. So we can see that the core sector growth has actually halved uh, in a year. Uh, so these are the this is the growth of the eight core sectors in the economy. So that has halved in just a year. So that is also something that we uh, that is concerning that does seem to show that we're not fully recovered and the geopolitical tensions that are going on in the economy at large are impacting our economy still. But uh, to get back to the overall quarter one GDP figure, with that missing the figure of 16.2% that the Reserve Bank of India had predicted, that puts to question on whether the Reserve Bank's GDP figure, GDP growth forecast figure for the entire year will still stand. Because remember, the GDP forecast for the entire year is made up of the GDP, uh, of the quarterly GDP growth added up together. So if this GDP growth for the quarter one has missed the Reserve Bank's estimates, it is a question whether the Reserve Bank will have to downgrade its yearly annual GDP growth growth forecast of over 7% that it's currently maintaining for this year. So we'll have to see uh, whether that happens. Of course, it's an impressive figure, highest in a year, even um, uh, the last that we saw, the uh, second highest that we've ever seen. Uh, but of course, these disclaimers that need to be uh, kept in mind that it's missed estimates and it of course comes on a low base.